in lmia we can categorize lmias in two major portions one major uh, one part is jobs where the demand is really really high just like hospitality retail sector okay hospitality is the most prominent sector or trucking industry there also the demand is really high so if the demand is really high in that case you can get lmia on lower cost just just keep it in mind you can get lmia on lower cost that is one thing and then second thing second thing is you can get real job as well with that lmia one the cost is going to be less hospitality sector is one good example and trucking uh, truckers are there uh, drivers are there for them as well so the the demand is really high uh, in, this industry uh, doesn't get good employees uh, to work proper employees full time employees to work so this industry really require uh, people so the demand is really high if the demand is upwards in that case the cost of lmia is going to be less and you will get real job as well both the benefits are there if you get real job then you are all sorted you are all good it is really highly beneficial for you and you say that okay even after paying we don't get real job yes it happens if you are coming on second type of category where the demand is really less finance sector maybe uh, it sector maybe marketing sector maybe there the lmias are issued just to sell there the cost is going to be high and you may not even get full time job may not even get a job job may be just on paper it can also happen and whenever you just get a job on paper in that case you don't get a salary you just get a salary you need to uh, uh, take it out from your account you need to give it back to the employer and also you need to give plus taxes from your own pocket so one way you are not getting any salary and you need to give taxes from your pocket as well so that is an additional cost on you and then if you want to answer you cannot because you are on closed work permit so legally you cannot work anywhere else so you are just bounded with the, that single employer only that is what lmia means that is closed that will give you closed work permit employer specific work permit and if you are getting employer specific work permit in that case uh, you cannot work anywhere else and if you want to earn for these taxes as well you may need to work in uh, cash that is not a pleasant scenario for you one one you are not getting anything you have paid money just to get this work permit one thing then after paying this money even after paying this money you need to pay extra taxes as well every month until unless you get your pr so you need to pay those taxes as well additional then you need to work on cash maybe to pay these taxes because you need to earn to survive for yourself for your grocery for your rent and everything plus uh, you need to pay taxes as well so you need to earn double money for your survival and for paying the, those taxes as well so that is not a really good scenario for most people if you are married and if your husband is coming and your husband or wife will come on spouse or work permit and they can work anywhere and they can become uh, this person for you who is going to earn but during that time as well you are not working you are not earning you are actually spending money on your expenses plus on taxes as well so your your husband or your wife if they are on open work permit and they are working somewhere they need to earn for everything for your taxes for expenses for everything that can be the scenario so you need to decide carefully if that is a, and that happens in most lmis where you are not going to get anything so recently i got a quote from some someone uh, the quote was 70000 dollars and then they are going to give work they are going to pay 14 hours per 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 hour 14 hours is minimum minimum wage okay so they are going to pay 14 hours per uh, 14 dollar per hour that is one thing and they are going to take 12 hours of work and they are going to pay uh, pay for 8 hours so taking extra work from me 12 hours paying me for 8 hours that to minimum wage okay that's how i was and 70000 uh, dollars i am giving in advance just to get that lmia so those kind of offers are also there so uh, people ask for bizarre kind of amounts and it happens for lmia and that is a scenario because bhai bik raha hai to bech rahe it's like uh, 
means if, if they are getting the buyers they are they are selling it on random random amounts because people are desperate to enter in canada 